I promise to outwork Elizabeth Warren every day and challenge her at every turn. She is an extremist, out of step and out of touch with the people she's supposed to represent. She likes to portray herself as the only politician looking out for their interests. As always with her, the facts tell a different story. The truth is, she's running for president and she's doing everything she can to put the spotlight on herself and win the support of the far left. And in a contest between Senator Warren and the rest of the Democrat field over who's more liberal, Massachusetts always loses. Elizabeth Warren supports a large and expansive federal government that tells us what we can and cannot do. Government, in her view, is the cop on the beat that blows the whistle on its own citizens. But during this campaign, who is going to keep an eye on Senator Warren? Who's going to blow the whistle on her? I will. When she puts her political ambitions ahead of the interests of Massachusetts, I will blow the whistle on her. When she attacks an effort to spare our small town community banks from being suffocated by overregulation, I will blow the whistle on her. And when she turns her back on our hospitals and universities, because she views efforts to finance life-saving medical research as a giveaway to corporations, I will blow the whistle on her. And when she speaks out against tax relief for individuals, families, and small businesses, I will definitely blow the whistle on her. When Senator Warren first ran for office, she stated she had done three things in her life. Teach, write books, and throw rocks. Well, to get legislation passed, you have to solve problems, and you have to be able to work with others. And no one wants to work with a rock thrower, and I am not a rock thrower. I will contrast her empty failures with my own record of success. As a mom and a wife, as the first female director of the Massachusetts Republican Party, as the state secretary of consumer affairs, and as an entrepreneur and a small business owner. And in all of those jobs, I've learned a few things. If you invest in relationships instead of demeaning others and looking for headlines, you can find solutions that work for everyone. And it was with this attitude that we were able to cut unnecessary regulations for businesses at Consumer Affairs. And we saved our citizens millions of dollars by laying the groundwork for the introduction of competition to the state's auto insurance market. I will roll up my sleeves and get to work in Washington too, to make our military strong, to preserve our free enterprise system, to help families keep more of the money they earn, and yes, to secure our borders, including building a wall.